up guys, Techie Rod here, back with the ANET A3, still going strong, I think I got it dialed in, on the last video I was having issues with the side brim, um, just needed to level the bed a little better, and that fixed that, also got the uh, cooling fan for the layers right there, um, pretty solid machine, very happy with it for the price. It's been great. Um, using black hatch box right there. Um, I'm actually going to design my own uh, filament holder for this. So I'll be working on that. Right now, I'm printing up parts for the uh, my other printer for the Mini Select. I got right here. I'm printing up a spool holder for that one, a better one. And I'm using the blue hatch box PLA. And, um, coming out real nice. I also upgraded the E3, E3D head on that one. But anyways, the ANET A3 has been a solid uh, printer. It's really dialed in. It's been printing everything I wanted to print very fast. Having great luck, great uh, prints with the, um, the masking tape. Um, I don't really like the painter's tape. The masking tape's been doing real good. Um, yeah. So just doing a follow-up video on the ANET A8, A3. Excuse me, the A3. Um, oh yeah, I also bought the the uh, USB uh, extension, extension for the A3 because on the side of the A3, the USB kind of goes in there really tight and with this extension it just makes it easier to remove it and put it back in so I actually printed up the uh, the adapter from the A from the A8 that I saw on Thingiverse which was awesome so I'll mount that some kind of way on here I'll mount that on here some kind of way and it'll make it easier in the future to uh, put the SD card in when I'm ready to print. So a few, few upgrades you'll want to do when you get this printer but nothing too crazy It's pretty much it's ready to go out of the box. I got the wire relief uh, bracket on the back which helps out. It's a solid printer. For the money you spend on it, it's ready to go out the box. The bed is slightly bigger than the Monoprice Mini Select bed, so you can do uh, larger prints. And yeah, I got a little time left on that. I've been printing pretty much non-stop since I had it. Haven't had any issues with it. The uh, stepper motors run cool been real solid solid it's been a great experience with it uh, I got more videos coming with my mono price mini over here also for the people out there who own that machine um, I've got a few upgrades done to it I'll get into those later on another video so thank you for checking in with me and stay tuned for more videos